good morning it is monday morning again and i have put a little egg laying unit in there for the the hen so i give them some fresh water and food chris chrissy come come here Christopher is now living with us permanently again. Uh, for those of you who don't know Christopher, he is uh, 13 years old. He got injured when he was 18 months old. And uh, generally they call it ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder. Um, we refer to it as uh, neurological injuries, both him and Ethan. <laughs> You guys are almost twins, yes, you're the same age. Um, Christopher is in the orange shirt. He is my bi biological son. And this is Lucian. He is my stepson. And uh, we're going to go feed the animals now. Christopher. It's apples. Oh, there's the apple. And I need to get some water and uh, what's it for the chickens. Chrissy, come. Put in some water here for me. Come, let's go put some water. Lucian, take him to put water in that and give it to the chickens. I'm just going to get the, the pellets for the chickens. All right, the chickens got fresh water and food. And the hen just escaped for half a second. But she quickly returned. <laughs> let's go feed the cattle. I just wanted to say, just fix his pants. <laughs> Hi. All right. It's beautiful here. It's very misty today. Um, Mom and Yasia and Ethan has gone to school already. What's that, dude? Look at all this. Look at the mist. Look at all that smog. It's not smog, it's mist, dude. Look at all this mist. We don't live in Johannesburg, we live in White River. Morning, 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 morning. Come, give them a cow. Give it. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah. Here we go, girl. Here we go. I always say that. Here we go, girl. So I'm saying, no, man. You must eat it by the hands. Where did you give both the apples? No, wait, wait, wait. wait. We're not throwing. We're not throwing. Come, Buddha. Come. Here we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Did you only get one apple? Oh man, I should have given you more. I wanted to give it to her. Hey, hey, hey. No, you can't eat my hand. No. Hello, you all. Hey, all you beautiful animals. Hey. Did you sleep well? Good. That's fantastic. Some more compost right there. This is what an empty vermicost bin looks like at our place. 110 liters of bin, um, galvanized bin. And then uh, we're going to fill this with uh, cow patties. Wait, I've got a call coming in. I'll continue now. It is a done deal. We filled it up with two wheelbarrows, 
some old stuff, some new stuff, some whatever stuff I found there. Horse paddies. I've just wet it a little bit. You can see the water coming out on the bottom here where I've drilled holes to have the water, excess water drain out. And there is already some earthworms in there that we picked up with the paddies. And as I run into earthworms on the premises, I'll just keep on putting it into this bin. It's the same as what I did with those two bins that are under the cover there. And this bin here is completed. So this one we can use. That's looking good. <clears throat> They actually want to keep the water off of this as well. And they say we've got more rain coming. So I must just get another sheet of this uh, old roof uh, roofing and just put it over the top. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, now I'm going home. Okay. 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 The plan of action is as follows uh, with the YouTube channel is produce as much content as possible, create some traction on the channel and then various content and see what the reaction on all the different contents are and then build according to that a bit of a more of a niche um, channel. Because, I mean, there's so many different angles that I can go at this channel. And we've got a very unique setup that's different from the normal 9 to 5. And uh, showing the different aspects of it will also give the handful of viewers that we already have and insight and that will also give them the opportunity to choose through watching more stuff and consuming more stuff that will give me an indication of what are people what people are really interested in what do they really want to see um do they really want to just know how to plant peas and tomatoes and onions or how to guide a pea plant up a tomato plant or are they interested in the more um, human side of things what happens in a in an odd family like ours how does that work how does dad stay at home and mom work all day long and what is ASD all about and the in and out of of that um, lifestyle and why do I not cover these strawberries so that the grasshoppers don't get to them? The easy reason is I forget. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to put together a video or a, a content reflecting our lives and how we go about it. Okay, the strawberry should survive this. I put that strawberry in its bag in some Agribondo fleece and covered it up. And on, on the back side, I'll just be able to get in, open it up and get some water in there. And then just close it up again. And that should hopefully keep all the grasshoppers off of it. Um... And hopefully enough sunlight into it. I wonder if I shouldn't put it into more direct sun. I just tied it up to that to give it some space to grow, some space to breathe. 